From Pretoria to Guguletu, Women's Day was commemorated across the country. Let's take a look now at some of the celebrations. Women displaying their solidarity. The Gauteng Premier led today's march to the union buildings in commemoration of the 1956 march by 20,000 women. Women must be actually part of everything that has to do with the upliftment of society. At Freedom Park, ordinary women who have had an extraordinary impact on the lives of South Africans were celebrated. Members of the public posted messages and their pictures on the canvas which was unveiled today. In the Northern Cape, Premier Hazel Jenkins led a three-kilometer march condemning violence against women and children. The provincial government also adopted five shelters for abused women and children. While in Pumalanga, it was a moment to treasure for a group of elderly women. They received houses at an event held in Petritif. In Dillsville, in the Western Free State, Premier Ace Mahashule handed over a house to a 77-year-old woman who's blind and has partially impaired speech. <laughs> Although there were celebrations at Munsiwa Stadium in the Northwest, some women chose to stay home. They say Women's Day celebrations can do little to address challenges facing women in rural areas. Women were also called on to take the front seat at an IFP Women's Brigade function. Be the voice of integrity, the voice of truth. On this Women's Day, the challenge goes out to a new generation of heroines. Fighting corruption and fraud was the theme of COPE's celebration in the Western Cape. The party's treasurer general also urged women to continue the legacy of the women who staged the original march to the union buildings. August the 9th doesn't belong to the ANC. Yeah. It does not. It were women of South Africa in all walks of life that marched on the 9th of August. The day was also a day for reflecting on time spent away from loved ones. This 82-year-old shared the memory of being barred from visiting her husband while he was on death row on Robben Island. As the day was marked across the country, a common theme emerged, the need to change patriarchal attitudes and the economic exclusion of women. Lehana Tsuditsi, SABC News. In Grahamstown...